We were supposed to get somebody to follow us, Amanda. Today? So you can, well, so you can be with me on these videos. Oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Can I show, can I show my nails? Of course. Yeah, here, let me show, let me show them really quick. So today, I mean, Halloween Ooh. has begun. Wow. Look at there, candy corn wee, and wee, got wee, the wee, wee, wee. Halloween nails. These are press on nails, super quick. I did them in less than a minute. Oh, they were cute. Aren't those cute? Okay. And, um, uh, you would you can get them at the dollar store, but I got these at Walmart and there's just more selection at Walmart So, you know go at night when there's not as many people But isn't that cute with the candy corn and all that stuff and you start Halloween now. Oh Yeah, start Halloween I mean, it's, now. It's still another week. I went last week no. to Another week. Oh, another Lord. month. It's, oh my god, man. Oh, Five you, weeks listen, out. and we stretch it out. <laughs> so <laughs> September is Halloween to us. So I went last weekend to <laughs> Dave, we went last weekend to shop downtown Morristown. Yeah. Because, of course, you know how people say shop local. I love to go to the antique stores. Got all kinds of weird Halloween ishy stuff and uh, decorated uh, the inside of my house. So, I mean, it's still a mess. But anyway, the outside, going to do that hopefully this weekend. So. And I want to see your, your t shirt. Oh, my t shirt. Yeah. Talk, talk about this. Okay, so this is the FFA. I was. <laughs> FFA. I was the FFA sweetheart. Uh, Morristown West, 1988, oh 1987, God. 1988. And you have a picture of that. I do have a picture we of that. We gotta get that up. Yeah, but anyway, FFA, Future Farmers of America. I actually wanted to go to college, and I wanted to be a forest ranger or I something. Wish you I wish I'd have done you it too. You wouldn't be caught up in this mess. Oh my God, I know, my Lord. But anyway. My life took a different path, and that's okay. So, but FFA, I've always I used to love to go to the meetings. What happened really quick is that whenever I was in high school, they signed me up. All my girlfriends were doing cosmetology. I got in there and I looked around and they wouldn't know boys. I said, I'm out of here. So I went to FFA where I was the only girl and I was like, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, that was that was my scene right there. So, but the bad thing about it is my brother was in FFA. So, and my last name is Hayes. And so nobody asked me out. Nobody, nothing. They would say, you don't mess with Hayes' sister. Yeah. So nobody would come hardly. They went in with all the boys. And them all the yeah. boys, so hardly anybody would come near me. So God. anyway, ooh, poor, poor pitiful Amanda. So, anyway. Hey, what's the motto of, of the blue and gold, Amanda, FFA? What do you mean, what's the motto? You know, motto? what's that saying you always say, oh, remember? My, oh, uh, well, I start out, that's, uh, it's the creed. You have the FFA creed. You still know the creed? I know most, well, I know most of it, uh, you know, uh, let's see. I believe in the future of farming, a faith born not of words but of deeds, achievements won, blah, blah, blah. I'd have to get through it and get in the rhythm That's again. That's pretty good to me right there. That's pretty good, but my bro you had to recite the FFA creed to get a pen, so you yeah. would get pens for all that stuff. But the FFA sweetheart was an actual office. It was an office like the president, the vice president, the secretary, the sweetheart, and something else. But I was a sweetheart, got to wear a red prom dress, Aww. had my hair all 80s That's poofy, cool. feathered. So I'll bring a picture and, or I'll post it or something like that. So, but anyway, see if you, you know, anybody comment about the FFA, if you were in it, if you were in that, uh, if you were in the Future Farmers of America, it's a very proud organization and to promote. They taught us, oh my God, I took horticulture. Yeah. I loved it. They taught us about flowers and we would have we would build stuff. We used to. Uh, and you retained a lot of that because I know you yeah. helped us out with the flowers and stuff yeah. around your house that you planted. It's a lot of fun in here. Yeah, yeah. and they did. Uh, they taught us about tobacco. We'd go to the tobacco barns and we go to the tobacco sales and stuff like that. And they would teach us just a whole bunch of stuff. I remember a bunch of tobacco, uh, like it'd be like First Monday yeah. is what we call it in Morristown. I don't know if it's everywhere. Closing Monday. It was called First Monday. First Monday. First Monday, every first Monday, and they still have it. Every first Monday, you go and there's chickens and cows and goats and all kinds of the agriculture auction. stuff. Uh, like a, it's a sale for yeah, the day. Sale. Yeah. yeah, people used to not work on it. They everybody went to first Monday. Cool? Things was shut down. So anyway, 1988. 1988's when I graduated. I was so. watching a movie the other night of in the 80s, and I was like, mm, Was you man? And then it showed it showed up. A foreign country, I think it was Italy. Yeah. In the eighties. Oh, really? What and was you know it they like? look just like us. The whole thing. Really? Yeah, their hair, their styles of clothes, and you know what? I know it sounds so stupid, but I have never been to Europe. I haven't been out of the country, and every time you hear. Well, you went to Colombia. You've been out of the. 
man, it was last year, six I months ago. I mean, I'm talking about when, when you're in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. You think the United States is like the forerunner of fashion and everything. Yeah. And it's not. The whole world is the same. The fashion, the music, the, everything is the really? same everywhere you go. Yeah, I noticed it. It was, it was back in the early 80s. It was a movie. And they all dress the same. The, yeah, all that stuff. Really? Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. So it's not like the United States is a forerunner. I'm, I guess we're, it's speaking how uh, yeah. secluded we have been in I know. our lives over here, you know? You know, it's funny you say that because um, I've been getting on TikTok, like whenever I go home and stuff like that. That's mainly uh, what I get on now. And uh, they were showing what people were wearing now in New York. And I just thought it was very cool looking because, you know, New York you really really can express yourself it's not small town place you can really they have high fashion they've got all you mean the... i could i could wear something other than my white t-shirt yeah. blue jeans manda <laughs> yeah yeah you would stick out like a sore thumb in new york but they had some really crazy that's edgy really a compliment to be able styles. to do that oh can you yeah. imagine going to new york and sticking out like a sore thumb oh you no i didn't see nobody dressed like that in new york <laughs> no uh -uh. yeah i'm gonna go to new york just like him i could i could start a trend you really could yeah yeah like a farmer's trend no it's not a farmer but it, it's like a bit well you're like you're a builder i'm, I'm a you, man you're man. a man you're a man like i Marlboro forgot man. <laughs> That's what a man looks like well real quick just show what this little shed is that's where i'm standing here okay i'm gonna tell you this is our guard shack right here beautiful we've got cedar shakes on it put a little stucco on it we're gonna put some wood and frame it and stuff but this is a guard shack it's almost ready to go we're gonna put a little air conditioner heater electric in it put a stop sign it's like when you come to the romanian border over in europe stop we shoot first do not come by oh boom boom we're gonna shoot people shoot you. don't oh, exit no. car we're we not shoot first we're not shooting people Go for it. and we keep eye on you we keep eye on you okay i'm sure that's how they talk well, this is a guard check and all the ladies that live here because we got we're gonna have 230 people living here yes right now it's about 160 and i'm most of them are ladies and they're gonna love mm -hmm. The, uh, the ability to have a guard yeah. at the gate mm -hmm. to check in, in people in and out. We've got a ton of people driving through on the weekends and nights. It's just it's hard to stop. We don't have a gate. We don't have anything here. If we put a gate up, we don't want it remote control because we got a ton coming in during the day. It would just be going constantly, mm -hmm. you know? So I think a guard at the gate would be a lot better. What was you going to say? I did you, uh, stickers. Talk about the stickers. Yeah, well, so in your windshield, we're going to have a sticker on your windshield, a little inconspicuous, you know, sticker. So when the, the guard can look at your sticker, you'll go, you'll go, you'll go. No, you stop. No yeah. sticker. We got one for the forest, one yeah. for the beach, one for the prairie, and they do say yeah. forest, beach, and prairie. Also, we've got one that says visitors. And if you don't want to stick it on there, because there are some people that will be mad that they don't want to put a sticker on, we want to accommodate <laughs> you too, and we've got a a invisible a sleeve. sleeve you can put it in or you can just flick it up when you go by so, <laughs> don't want to be talked to exactly all right there so you go we want to handle all personalities everything that you want to bring here we will come a day okay yeah. and right. this is literally for crowd control and security crowd control yeah because it's getting out of hand we got people that's coming behind the building coming through the wood shop david boy Come Both, on. Right? Crowd control. Remember the song? Crowd. No, I'm probably getting it wrong. You said that song came in my head. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Isn't that crowd control? No. Or is that not even it, is it? No. Town. There are buddies laughing at me right now. What I know I got it wrong. I know What's I got the song? it wrong. I don't know what it is. It's a, he's did the, the outer space song that he had. See, I never listened to David Bowie. I didn't either. I just wasn't me. If it wasn't Merle Haggard or something, I was stupid when I was a kid. I was the only one well, that walked stupid. in. Oh God, in the 70s and 80s and 90s, when I was through high school, I was the only one that listened to country music. My dad and I always had play records for him, like you played for your dad. Yeah. But it was always country music. Mm -hmm. And then when I when I played sports, because I wasn't all that great of a sports guy. Yeah. I mean, I just my body wouldn't work like everybody else's. But I could sing better than everybody. There you go. So I was the singing mariachi <laughs> in the shower. Everybody, hey, dog, sing us a song. And I'd go at it, you know. Anyway, that's us. Want to take you into our factory today, show you this, and then we're going to go from here. We're going to show you the Incredibox. And I want to let you guys know and remember, 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 this is a sale of our business's lifetime, never to be offered again. 25k 
for an off-grid Incredibox. It is unbelievable sale. We're selling, we, our houses are 20, we had five grand for a K, 5K system, four panels. It's at cost, everybody. It is going up after, uh, after Halloween, yes. October 31st. Please, if you are ever interested in anything, put a deposit now. As long as you pay for it by the end of October, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Order that. Order it, order it. Just make sure you're paid in full by the end of and October. And we do have people taking advantage of it. Do it, do it, mm -hmm. do it. And I told you again, for every 100 homes that we sell, we are taking a drawing out of the 100. So we've already sold 100, and that's a decorating contest, which we're massively excited about mm -hmm. that. The next 100, we're just going to take them, take a name out. That person's going to win an Incredibox. I don't think you guys got that registered in your head because when you buy one, anybody that buys one right now till the end of the year, you have chances of winning one out of a hundred a free Incredibox. Right. Free. That's, That's amazing. Nuts. I That's want amazing. It. And they're selling for 20 grand. You guys know we can't keep selling these for 20 grand. I'm going to do all I can. Yeah. We're trying to, we're trying to to come up with other ideas to pay for labor and other things. Mm -hmm. we're, we're getting ready to sell some amenities like the beds, a single, full, and double. Six, seven, and $800 mm -hmm. beds that have the drawers under them. Yeah. If you want one of them, we're gonna get amenities page. We're gonna start putting it up for we you gotta guys We gotta get a picture see. of them and post them on there and you'll yeah. know exactly what you're getting. Off-grid home, 30K. Okay. If you want, that's a set system done. The only thing we'll add to that house is an extra battery and I totally tell you guys, Get the battery. You better get you it. Got 10K lithium battery in these houses. You go from five to 10. You can add, talk to Lucas today. We'd probably grab him in here. We go inside. Okay. Um, you can put three and four batteries together. Mm -hmm. I misunderstood. I thought you couldn't do that. And if you got another charge controller inverter, he said you can stack them and pack them. Really? Ah, yes. Now, on the Grove, and this is not for the video, but I'm going to throw it out there because we had some people wanting to put more electricity or more solar on the grove out here on the 12 by 20s uh it's got a washer and dryer in it it's going to have a mini split in it if it's going to have those units in it a 5k is not going to last very long on that okay so you need a lot of battery bank we're actually going to design it right now we're we got some people wanting to know hey how much is the solar unit going to cost on the 12 by 20. Mm -hmm. we're going to put four panels on it the 5k the inverter and all that right there we're starting, we got to do it at 7,500 bucks. We putting it on there, right? Now, I would go with an extra battery or two extra batteries. And if you want, you can actually add six panels instead of the four. I'll come mm -hmm. out with all the pricing, let you okay. know what that all that costs. If you want to add that to your house, I surely would. We are the least expensive in the entire country on solar. I don't try to make a living off of solar. I just want to get you guys to buy our homes. So when we do solar, I've learned that solar is double and triple of whatever it costs. They just lay it to it because they can get the money. Okay. We are putting on solar here so fast. Lucas said he's been doing it for over a decade. He has never installed solar the way we install it here. Oh, wow. Now, he formulated the system, right? Mm-hmm. But he said, Randy, he said, there's nobody in the country installing solar like we do. It's, it's, a, it's a manufacturing assembly That's line amazing. installing solar. Yep. All right. Remember. Halloween, October 31st. Let's take a look inside. All right. All right. I've seen Lucas. Look, I got my glasses on. Oh, we're official now. But. Yeah. Hey, Lucas, when you get a minute, can you, I'll see you. You know, I know you're talking to John. I'll meet you down there at the solar and we'll interview you a little bit. All right. Just when you get time. No big hurry, buddy. All right. Welcome to our Incredibox factory line. Yep. Right here. You can see this is the floor system. He's anchoring this. Let me show you what we do. He's anchoring this to the frame. You can see these self-tap, he's drilling them in. We're gonna self-tap them inside. Well, he's not self-tapping them, but these are the screws that anchor the subfloor to the trailer. Okay. These are the bolts. We beat that back in there, it's a little tight. We put it back and we lag that back on. So it's lagged here, front and back, and along the side. This sucker ain't going anywhere. Right. Not only that, let me show you, we'll get a little bit further down in here. This is what Chris is building this floor system. You can see he's got all the jigs in place. Okay. So he knows where to put them. He knows exactly where to put yeah, them. Yeah, everything, these blocks of wood. See these blocks, how they're numbered? Mm -hmm. It has a 93 incher here on both sides. Over there, he puts it in place. That way he doesn't have to lay this band out wherever we gotta because go. Because this is a repetitive. This is a factory. It's a it's yeah. an assembly line. Chris, how many floors you got already? 
What you been doing? Sleeping? Yes, sir. <laughs> gotcha. He can do he can do four or five a day. Yeah. What we've been doing though, we've been trying to catch up on some other things. We yeah. got a second floor system we're putting up. We got we're trying to catch up. Now that we're only doing three a day, yeah. It gives some guys a couple hours throughout the day to help the factory get a little bit more organized. We're getting ready for winter. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. We've got a big door going to be installed down to the other end. Yep. And uh, so the guys are being able to help okay. out. Okay. So let me show you this right here. This is our three quarter inch sub floor. This is our grill. See here? So. Oh, wow. This is a stand up Look grill. Look at that thing. I've not seen nothing so we, like that. We, sub, we screw all of our sub floor down. Right? Wow. Love it. Here, as you guys can see, is our recycled foam. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look how deep that foam is, Amanda. Look. That's how My deep that My goodness. Stuff is. It's like a big snow. Yes. Big snow. Here we go. So we got, see here our screws? Wow. Fun. I've never seen nothing like that. That's a self feeder. They don't have to bend over. It's wow, a long that's ramp, ramp, great. Ramp, 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 yeah. Ramp. And what we do is we chalk line all of our, our floor joists. Right there, and we know where to put our screws in. It's a three-quarter sub floor. What? This is my third. I'll it's your third. You. Yeah. Okay. Quit lying. <laughs> hey, James. Hey. So now where James puts this all together, let me help you there, buddy. Yeah, I just got him. Yes. Look, he, he's used to doing it by himself. <laughs> but uh. What James does, all this right here, it comes in a door trim. Yeah. So our main door is right here. He's putting it where he knows where his main, where his key is. It has to be there at the same place every time because it goes behind the trim of the door. Okay. Yeah. It's like a chase that he uses. Can you lay that down, buddy? You good? Okay. All these wires, here's a plug from behind the toilet. Here's your toilet. This is your bathroom running this way. This is your shower. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Oh that's my all god. Recycled. All of it's usable. All of and that's recycled. what's in those bags over there too. Yeah. Now see this plug right here? Yeah. Okay. You can have a water line in the plug. This is for the sink. If you ever want a sink, you'll cut a hole in the floor, bring it up, boom, you got a sink if you want one in your bathroom. Okay. Now what's Kenny doing? Oh, Kenny's pre-drilling the subfloor. You see these he's needing a piece of wood here. Yeah. See this? So what he knows that all of that. Oh, that goes on there. So that oh, hole right there fine. for that right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See this right here? So this is a template of all the holes of oh, where they need great. to be on that subfloor. Okay. So he'll take that, lay it on there, mark it out, drill it, cut it, wow. do, then they put it over in place. Hey, now is this called, is this plywood or it's that Well, we board? call it Adv Advantech, but it is part of board, oriented strand board. Now, how much is that now? Did it go down in price? I'd have to give it John. Okay, that's fine. I was paying. curious. But it was, yeah. It went up to like $70, $80 a, a sheet. A sheet. We used to get it for 20 before COVID. Wow. Yeah. Okay, we'll ask that. And you know what? Again, if I like to say that, mm -hmm. our prices have not Did not go much. up. You nope. see that? That's right. All right. Over here is our panel, as you can see. He's cut He's cut uh, the holes out for the window, and then he just trims his corners out. He'll put set in the window in there. Okay. Over here. Now, he's just, will you explain what tool that is in case somebody else? Yeah. Okay. That's a Sawzall. He's just using a typical Sawzall. Okay, I can see. So somebody could use a sawzall. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Um. So. In case somebody wants to work on these at all home. Right. Well, this is just this is a cool saw from Milwaukee. As you can see, it's all covered up, right? So it, okay. it doesn't have as many shards coming okay. out. Okay. Because he's gotten through metal, right? So here's a blade. This is a typical blade that we have here. What kind of saw is that? This is a Milwaukee skill saw. Skill right? saw. That's yeah, a circular saw. Okay, circular you skill saw. You ready for it? Okay. And that's a sawzall. I'm gonna get a out DeWalt. Of the way. Yeah, and that's a sawzall. And all he does is he's going and cutting the corners. The saw is a circular, so he can't cut a corner really nice. He trims it out with the sawzall, pops okay. that out. Now, those sections we use that. We were, it's a little loud. We were going to use those sections to build our lofts. Yeah. But they're, they're taking too much time. So mm -hmm. what we're going to actually do is take those pieces that come out from our windows, mm -hmm. and we're going to create some storage boxes. Oh, okay. And we're going to add it as an amenity to our credit box. But if you want a storage box on your tongue, okay. we are going to start coming out with some storage boxes in, insulated 
for the front that's of the house. That's great. Yes. Yeah. So okay. stay tuned to some more. So, but just to show that you can do this at home, this is tools that you can buy at Lowe's. These can be cut. These panels can be cut with a, with a wood blade skill saw. Okay. All right. Now it'll dull on you after a while. But I'm going to show you how to cut in your um, your uh, air conditioning hole okay. above your kitchen window. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a video and show you guys how to do that. we got okay. to get on it next week. Okay. Good, good. Right. And this is a different one too, right? Well, that's your drill for your for your screws. Yeah. Yep. So this is this is a self feeder. Look at that. Yeah. It's just very wham, Mad wham, Max wham, wham, looking, wham, isn't wham. it? So before, for the longest time, they've had to take one screw at a time, pull it out one screw at a time. Now it's just a it's just an automatic feed. Now I love how these guys stay safe. He not only has his safety glasses on, he put on a shield because we want to protect our eyes. Well. This is the most dangerous part of this whole business is him cutting a hole in that. Yeah. You can see. Now, he's had to learn to run that saw because you can't see the blade. Yeah. It's all covered up. So he's had to go by the guide on the outside of it. You can see him? You are yeah. Him. Man, he's turning your head. I'm turning my head. I'm like. So he just cut it with a, with a wood blade a wood. Yeah. And we have found that that works better any diamond coat blade, all these types of blades, it works the best. That's right. Yeah. Now, the way he found that square is he's got a template over here that he just grabs, sits on his thing, marks it out, doesn't have to do a measuring, has to do anything That's of awesome. leveling or anything. Okay, good. Now, over here Love we it. have our crane. Okay. And this is a suction cup. Look at this dark panel. Wow, hey. why is hey. it this color? Hey, look at that wall. Oh my God! Why are they gray? They just, just come in different, different colors. colors. That's right. Look at that wall over there. Wow. See that it? is cool. So this is a whole dark wall. Wow. Now the suction cup will grab it. We'll lift it up with our crane system, yep. and then we'll hoist it and set it on this floor. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let me cool. show you what we've done. Now a couple things that we've done to hone in on everything being square, plumb, level, and tight. Yeah. Is up here, we've got this jig that we put on all four corners so we don't have to get up there. All we have to do is set that on top and we're done. Oh, you all have improved so much. We come over here, inside of our panel room that we're doing our panels, you know, all of them have to be routered with a 45 degree angle. Yes. Now we're getting so organized that we have just corner panels. Okay. So corner panels, we leave all the foam in. So that way, when you come over here, you see there's foam here. Yeah. Inside, that was all foam, and this is all foam. So when we put our corners, see, we can adjust that. See that? See me move That's that in? Right. So what we'll do on the inside, there's 90 degree angles, right? Okay. Let's hold it together. So we push it in. We tell the guy on the inside, he can hear it, and he tightens them all up. Wow. And then we're good. The outside corner now just turns into being just an aesthetic That's corner. That's amazing. That kept that from having to be sideways uh, what cut, right? You don't have yes. to put it yeah, together. Yeah, you don't no have more. a 45. And That's great. It's solid. Yeah. The corner, it really doesn't do anything structurally or longevity. Mm -hmm. It just helps us with putting a nice straight corner on it. We've been having that a hard time nice. making our corner straight without being buckled. Okay. And now they're mm -hmm. going really easy. That's awesome. Yeah. But look at that. Look how crazy color it is. I mean, that's I like awesome. It. I'm not sure I wouldn't keep I it. Like, it. like it, just decorate around that. Yep. Let me kind of show that. I mean, everybody's going to paint it anyway. Yeah, you know, exactly. Look at that. That's now, cool. Over here is our roof system. Well, there's James. Hey. Hey, what are you yeah. doing? James with your new AC. Oh, is that the new trim? Is that them? Oh, oh good. We were just it. talking about it. So what we used to do is have all this different trim. Yeah. And James and I come up with a way of doing it a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. She's trying not to get Thor on here. I know. Here. So, he's running around in his jammers. Yeah, he's got pajamas and no shirt on. <laughs> so this is the roof system and the wall system all together. Okay. All right. One piece instead of two. One piece instead of two. That's Way awesome. And there's no C channel around the roof system. I'm gonna point that out. So right here, Amanda, zoom in on that corner if you will. 
Okay. Got it. All right. So up there, you see that tri the little triangle, a little slit? Yeah. Look how clean all that is. Before, we had a C-channel. We had an angle iron. We had all this stuff. And what we did is I actually woke up one morning and thought, why can't we make that one full piece? Yeah. And then James came in the next day. He goes, hey, isn't there something we can do about putting that one full piece? You all were insane. Yeah. And we came in here and bent it all up and made it work. And it's That like, is great. That is so clean. So much nicer. Just so clean. much nicer. Now, everybody's going to cut wood on it, probably put water on it. But if you sure. never, what I want to do is get it to where the house is. If you never want to touch it, we can just you leave don't it like that to, and yeah. it looks good, right? That's great. Now, yeah. what we used to do on that roof system right there, we used to have to put a C channel all the way around the entire perimeter of that. Really? Then we would set it. Now we don't. That's so that great. Saved, that saved a step. So now they just grab that, put it on the roof. Oh, and then great. that one piece he had, Love it. it's self-adjusting. Mm -hmm. So it's all the same size, all the way around. You put that on here, just do it, screw it in, done. Man, that's great. Yeah. That's right. awesome. We're working our way down here towards the solar in mm -hmm. Credit Box. Okay. 25 grand. Yep. Yep. You see him put his glasses on when he walked by the boss man. There you go. Oh, go ahead, honey. You're fine. All right, buddy. Billy, is that going to be your new house up yeah. there? Billy's gonna move in up there. What are we doing up there, Billy? Barbara. Look at Aaron. What are you doing? I'm going to the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, me and Lucas going up. Lucas would have an office right located somewhere in here. We're gonna have a workshop towards the back. What's gonna be up there? What workshop? Solar. 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 He knows how to do He's the a solar, solar man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just fixed the code today at said one and four. Number one is not a connection to the to the power to go into the box. The four is the bad the little battery. You got to raise that battery power up. Yeah, and but you're gonna have I, all that. He's yeah. gonna have all them codes. He's gonna have a, a list out there of what to shoot for and then how to correct it. And uh, Lucas has got all that formulated for him. Good job, Billy. Billy's learned all that. Yes, I have. Awesome man. And he's building the he's building the whole system. Yeah. Yes. Billy not only does that, he's throwing a new motor in his truck out here I too. I know. And Move. he's building his own house. There's nothing you can't do. You need it. Ain't not, ain't nothing uh, me and daddy can't do. Stop <laughs> me and daddy. <laughs> daddy Randy. <laughs> What a mess. Oh He's a mess. He's a so mess. So, Randy, what is that up there? What's going on? Okay, so what we're doing is we're putting all of our solar up there. All okay. the solar panels, all the solar components. He's going to actually work up there. That'd be great. Everything's going to be up there because then over here at an angle, you see how it's at an angle Yeah, right there? I see that. So right here is where the line splits. We'll take our solar ones this way. He's going to have actually a drawbridge that folds down. Yeah. And he can walk out on the roof. And set all the solar all panels the solar panel on the roof. Yes, he's going to build all the boards, all the batteries, and everything. That's and then when fantastic. It's done, we're just going to lower them down and then install them inside. Love it. Okay, yeah. that's great. So okay. It gets him up off the floor. It actually has doubled our space. Yes. So we got a whole second floor up here now that you guys can yeah. work off of. That's great. I love My it. My other thing that I may do here. Well, that was a quick trip, Aaron. The next thing I may do from this point back towards the door yeah. is we may elevate our floor about 30 inches. Okay. That way the guys walk directly into the house instead of going up steps. That would be very nice. So it's a big floor. It's going to take a lot of wood and a lot of time to build that thing. You know, mm -hmm. we got to move everything out of the way. So um, may do that in the winter yeah. and build us a floor system because the guys going up and down steps all day is going to yeah. be, it's slower. It's harder on the guys and they'll be able to last longer. You know? Yeah, and they're usually they're carry they're usually carrying something in. They so. do cabinets, trim, right. tools. All okay, the make it safer too. Right, so two. we're splitting off over here. Okay. And now we're going over to this side is where our solar okay. houses are. Now you wouldn't believe. See these water heaters here, Amanda? Yeah. That's how many water heaters are bad. Here, let me get the radio. Okay. All right. So right here, you figure you get a water heater from Lowe's, it w they'll work out fine, right? What happens is you wouldn't believe this is how many are bad when they come to their leak. They leak. There's These something. were bad ones? Yeah, they're oh bad. My we got to send them back. So now we have to test our water heaters before we put them in mm -hmm. so they're not a problem. 
or over here, these are the panels we take out of our 3040 windows. Okay. And these are the ones we're stacking up. We're going to get ready to build some boxes that we can maybe offer for our Incredibox That's later great. on. That's great. Okay. And put them on the tongue. All right. Andy, here's, Good. Here's the deal with this one. Did you come out of the box? Yeah. Here's the only thing broke. Up. Busted on the bottom, that water so, down on the and bottom. And it came like that. Yep. Okay, what I'm trying to say, them are replaceable because I done replaced one. That valve underneath yes, there? Yes. Yeah. You unscrew it and screw it, it back? Yeah, you unscrew it and screw them back in. There you go. Good. What do you think's wrong with these over here, buddy? That's what I, if they're leaking here, it's just the valves are bad. Okay. That's what I think's wrong with them. Yeah, good deal. So we've had to set them aside, or they, they take them back. Now Lowe's, because we go through so many water heaters, right. we're working out a system where they can go back, how they're gonna come and get them, yeah. and all that stuff, you know? But the yeah. deal is, I think, it's the main valves right here is leaking, because yep. they're plastic. Sometimes the elements are bad yes. inside, you okay. gotta replace elements. Yep, yes. thank you, buddy. Thank you, Billy. You're welcome. You did great. Now. <laughs> He's gonna be on everything. Then, so this is our solar line yeah. here. I'm gonna take you up inside. This one has steps. Okay. Remember, $25,000 a deal ends October 31st, Halloween night. Mm -hmm. All right, like the ghost and, the ghost and goblins. Yeah. I started goose. Goose and the goblins. Ghost and goblins. But now it's the solar and off-grid. It's both of them. Yeah, for yep. 25 and 30K. Listen, if you're hesitating, put some money down, as long as you can pay for it by the end of October, Price is going up. Yep, after that. absolutely. All right. Remember, and if you buy one, you are in a drawing for one out of a hundred drawing for a free incredible. And box. we need to ask Lucas where we are, where we're at on the second one hundred batch. Yes. So that we've already done, we know the first one hundred, the decorating contest. Yeah. So where are we at? Because we're going to probably draw out that before we know we're going to we, draw we one sold, out. We've sold into the second. Yeah. 100. So we're going to do the giveaway house and. Uh, New Year's Eve, so we're already going to yes. we're only already going to yeah, give we're away, away a, tons. Yeah, a, I would want, I'd love to get ten of these the away by the end of the year. Oh yeah, okay. Hey, Mando, let me point out while I'm standing here. Okay, you see how clean that is now up there? Yes. Look at the difference now. Look at all that. This we've eliminated two pieces of trim to one. Wow. Really is yeah, and I I just can't tell you how excited I am. The panels. The panels are in better shape. We are. They we, look way better. We went better. back and we've redid the panel room. Yeah. How we're doing it. We've actually on the bottom here. Uh, to we've always had a problem with this buckling out a little bit. Yeah. It's a transition from the floor to the wall. Mm -hmm. We made some tweaking. Now it's a little bit smoother that we can come here. We're actually instead of a. Uh, um, Phillips bit. We're using a square head bit. Yeah. We're trying that different screw. So now are the panels? Or is it a different vendor? Or same vendor, different panels? Same vendor, different panels. Yes. Okay. Same vendor, different panels. Yes. Okay. Great. Yeah. That's good. All right. All right. Are you ready for our new I'm edition? ready. Come on in here. Let me have it. Amanda suggests things, and you know what? When she speaks, we we we, act, we commit to action, right? <laughs> All right. As you guys knew, we on a couple videos ago. Yes. She said, why don't we cut this countertop, right, and cut the backsplash here with the cabinet. So this yeah. is a, a 30 inch sink Is there base. power in here or no? I don't know, let's see. Oh, it's okay, okay. No, there's no lights. They're okay. still putting all the, every, okay, all the that's brakes okay. in there. So this is a 30 inch sink base with a 21 inch drawer base. And so then what we're doing, we're stopping the countertop, then we're adding this and this will fold down. All right? Now I have not come in here. I don't know if they've got it all together or not. But what I love about this... Oh, he's I got need, it set up there with a uh, stick. Amanda, I need, I need a need? measuring tape. Hey, Billy, you got a measuring tape I can borrow? Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to give you guys the dimensions now of what okay. we're doing. All right? I like your suggestion of what we had to do. Good. Thank you, buddy. Hey, boss. Yep. Thank you. All right. So, this cabinet here is a 30-inch sink base. With well, a 21 inch drawer base, which okay. is what I thought. You come here now, your countertop is now 72 and a half inches long. Okay. Right here it's 51. Now, the reason they had this propped up, it has just a little bit, I mean, just less than a quarter inch sag. Yes. So they've got that on there. Normally, we don't have an inch and a half countertop. Usually, it's about an inch, right? So coming under here and hit those. And Yay! This folds down. Folds down. Now look what kind of room we've got across here. 
from that wall to the countertop is better than eight feet. Wow. Is that not cool? That's so amazing. So you had a bed that's 54 inches? Yes. Man, that bed sits right here. That's great. There's people that's not going to use that They're all the time. They're not even going to touch that. Sometimes they won't even fold with so it. So you could actually put your chair here. Yes. Right? And still flip this up. Or mm -hmm. you've got all this space now. I know. And exactly. if you need to use that. Use now, it. You can, there's still a plug underneath here. Okay. See that plug? Lift it up. You can still. And look. You could actually still put. I know this brace is right here. But you could still maybe put a refrigerator. If you wanted to put something yeah. underneath here. And leave it up all the time. Yeah. Okay. But I do love this right here. I do too. I like that a lot. Done. Okay. Isn't that cool? Good. And then, it, well, it gives you options. Eight foot of clearance. Yes. All this right here mm -hmm. now. Now, somebody said they wanted to maybe put a bed this way. There was somebody asked that. I don't know if you got enough room. It's 74 inches. So, what's the size of a twin? I think it's or, 80. 78 or 80. Mm, now, it, it can come into here. What's that, Billy? A queen is a... Uh, uh, six by 75. So 75? A, a, a sweet queen, a, a small queen. Can't, uh, care. So, 75, you could almost, you'd get that sucker in there, buddy. Uh, if it's 80, that's a full size. A uh, short uh, queen is an 8 So, you can get a short queen. Yeah. Say, a short queen will fit in that. Okay. So, you could actually have a bed, and if it was 36, 39 inches is a, um, mm -hmm. a twin. So you're coming out right here. Let me put that broom right there for you guys. So you're looking at about right here. That's your that's your twin bed right there. Okay. If you wanted to do that, and here that would give you another about 52 inches. If you wanted to put a love seat or a chair or a, desk, right. or a dresser mm -hmm. or something here, if you wanted your bed that way. Because you can put a TV there if the people. A lot of people don't do TVs anymore. I know. Mm -hmm. So remember, you've got a plug here. The way mine lays out, I, that's why I designed it. Bed this way, plug down here. Well, yours was the first one. And yeah. this is the way I designed yeah. it. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. the plug up here is for a TV. Plug down here is for a flip-up table, just like that. Okay, so now something I want to ask. Uh, Ken was talking yesterday about a f big glass. So what was you talking about? Some windows was going to all, right. so all we have that. a standard picture window that we've been using. It's five foot by four foot. That's and big. we were going to put it right in here. So we're wanting, we don't mind, I'm going to say in the future, we want to see that if we want to add amenities to this on the assembly line, that it doesn't slow anything down. Mm -hmm. Ours is trying to keep the information Per, per home. Right. right. Right now, all the homes are the same. Anybody comes through the gate, they grab one and go. Okay. If we do a picture window like that here, then that is for that particular home, that particular buyer. Right. Now we've got to set it outside here and keep track of it. It's just an organizing, you know. Not mayor. Yeah, right now. And, and, and you know, even the physical space to put them is becoming oh, yeah. a, a problem. Oh, yeah. It's becoming cumbersome. But yeah, we're going to put a window. Look, that window would be that big, Amanda. Okay. A picture window. If you guys have ever seen Getaway, it's an uh, an overnight stay Airbnb called Getaway, a company called Getaway. Their houses are a little bit longer than this, but the exact same layout. I didn't notice it until we'd already designed this. But when you come in the door, they've got a nice bed, big picture window. They put a fire outside for it's two people, and all they do is crash for a couple days. Sleep in the bed with a with a big window, kitchen, bathroom, gone. And they get two, three, four hundred dollars a night all over the country. Think about this right here. You guys could take a complete off-grid home, park it anywhere you want to park it, and use it as an Airbnb. You do not have to run electricity. You don't have to run water. You don't have to run sewer. Nothing. Especially on Airbnb. They're going to stay in here three days, three to four days. You can have a tank underneath that you can take out, go dump, if you have to do that, right? You can use your compost toilet, let them use it. It's got a fan on it, takes care of it. Three or four days, people are not going to be any type. I don't think they're going to be inconvenienced at all using a compost toilet for a couple, three days. Right, I don't so think people will mind. Your $30,000 Airbnb can be parked anywhere because it's completely self-sufficient mm -hmm. with water, power, and sewer. Okay. Love it. Up there is our batteries. So up here, these are, this is where our batteries go are lithium batteries yeah okay now we put this electric heater in here but we also got a switch up here 
and the lady just said, hey, why don't you put a light on that switch? Mm -hmm. An indicator. To light. know it's on or off. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we did. So we, we took great that, idea. We took that advice. I think it was a great idea. Now see us guys when we think like we're ah put a switch on it. Now it's gonna have a light, turn it off and on. A great suggestion. Now one thing we're not doing anymore. We were putting a piece of sheet metal across this and I just did not like it. It looked awful. So it looked what? Awful. <laughs> so I think a lady, and I'm saying lady, because most of our buyers Majority are, ladies. are ladies. They're gonna put a nice curtain. They're we'll gonna put, put something, put something over. This is a DIY home. Yeah, it's this a decorate it yourself. Decorate it. Yeah, let's see. It it DIY. Decorate it. Instead of do it yourself, decorate it yourself. Decorate it yourself. Yeah. All right, let me move this ladder. Yeah, yeah. Fit, there's so many neat things to, to be able to decorate that with, that'll be no problem. So one thing we've had to do is see this board right here? Yep. We, now we're putting the, the water heaters up on this board a little bit because this valve is too close to the ground and we put our 90s on there this is what happened when we transported it this thing busted off and we busted had to go off. we had to go okay to oklahoma so you had to adjust it or, i can't remember where we had to go it was right. hard to fix it um now this is your solar this is your charge controller i like what we've done here we have allowed remember all the windows are set 12 inches from that wall inside okay here. i mean uh, it's probably 10 in here no it's 12. That allows, if you do not have solar, it allows you to put shelves all the way up right. for nice and storage. Mm -hmm. Now, this right here, I love that cabinet. It's vented. Beautiful cabinet. This is where your solar is. Do we'll the guys put, make that here? Does Rob and him make Rob the doors? Makes it. Okay. Yep. Rob make it. I think he, he made the prototype, so okay. we're probably building it here. But I love it. It's nice and clean. You got the air vents here. You guys can paint them later on if you like. But that's your solar. Okay. Amanda, this solar is so sleek. You got two batteries, 10K. Here's your charge controller, inverter. Wow. You guys want to, you're worried about the, what, the EMFs? You can put Mylar on the back side of this and okay. keep it from emitting, emitting any EFF, EMFs. Okay. This here is your 36 inch shower. 36 inch. Yep. Think about it, Amanda. Look, you got a 36 inch shower. I know. You got. I know. I know that this house, and if they're all going to tell me I'm a, I'm a, I'm a used car salesman, but I'm going to tell you. And we're selling homes. I know in 15 years from now, people are going to be kicking themselves. That they didn't get one at the price. Get one at yep, you better. Yeah, that's I right. I can feel it. I, you can just feel you it know. right now. This solar at 25 grand is an absolute steal. It, it is, is costing us $5,000 to install it. You can, and if you don't believe me, Sorry for you because you're missing out on a deal. Exactly. Well, you yeah. know, people who are interested in solar and that are interested in off-grid, they know the prices out there. So Got that's to. the ones that are buying because they know it's a deal. Get the extra battery for eighteen hundred dollars. Yep. Costing us about fifteen, sixteen hundred for the battery. We're putting you two in there. Up just, just and we've got a wire. I can totally together. live in here. There's eight by sixteen. There's no it. way I couldn't live Especially in here. Especially Amanda with your additions of that flip up. I come on. Love that flip up counter. I do too. I'm now, glad we did that. if you are. If you have bought one of our previous owned homes, mm -hmm. right, and you want this flip up, mm -hmm. these two brackets is all you need. There's no hinge, nothing. The only thing they have is that box across with wires in it. Yes. Well, yeah, you'd have to, you could cut your countertop yeah. here, or if you wanted to, it's really no problem, mm -hmm. cut your box, take the plug, and move it down further. And move it down. That's a DIY. Yep, that's right. Exactly. Okay. Do a DIY do or get an electrician you really to do can that do for this. you. Cut your countertop and do a flip. Okay. Yep. All right. So there you have it. I wanted to run this by you guys today. A hundred, every hundred homes we sell, we're giving one away. Every hundred homes. Do we know the cost of what we're going to charge for the big window? No, I surely don't. We'll, we'll find out. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you guys know if you want a big... Well, we haven't offered it yet. We haven't offered it yet, just so just be thinking, thinking, thinking about, about it. it. We want to try to do that. Okay. All right. Uh, a couple things I wanted to show you inside for our trim. I came in here and I said, guys, we got to do our trim a little different. Look at this trim right up in this corner, Amanda. So what we're doing is taking a long piece of trim and all we're doing is cutting the inside, making a 90 degree bend and going across. And I know that sounds like, wow, why didn't you guys think of that before? But when you got so many things going, guys coming in here, we didn't actually pay attention to the really, really small, minute things. That's what I really love about us backing off of doing five a day to three a day. Yes, do we need the money? Yes, do we need to build faster? Of course we do, all that. But you know what? 
I got to have these houses going out perfect. Right. Any kind of, we want this to be a long-term business that we're That's in. Right. We want this to go on for years and years and years, and we want to do a better job. And we want the guys to be able to come in and they know exactly what they're doing and they've perfected that yeah. position that they're in. And we took those guys and we brought them in here and said, listen, this is what you need to be looking for when you put these houses. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of this trim. Now this trim is just window trim. It's just aesthetics. There's foam behind here. See that little bit of yellow right there? Yeah. So we spray foam it and then we squish this trim in here. You can see it in here. Yeah. There's some spray foam. All this is insulated as best we can. Yeah. Now on the side, this is metal. All right. We can't make this absolutely this smooth, perfect all the time. Mm -hmm. Right. It's going to have that's what it is. It's a DIY. You can see a little bit of little bit of buckling. See that right there? Just a little bit. Now, what I'm trying to show these guys when they put these 90 degree angles, I said, don't over bend. We want to under bend all of our corners. So when we shove it in there, it's against it's up against the two walls. Okay. So those little things we're still learning, trying to get better and better as we go. So Ain't. Still very nice. Man, very that was nice. a lot of technical information. I hope you guys like doing that, you know, listening to this. Um, one thing, let me let, let me point out one more thing to you. The plugs, you have two in the back wall here. And I know I showed this a while back, but we got two plugs back here. So when the guys build the trim, they build that box right there with the holes, <coughs> excuse me, and the power boxes in them. The wires are coming out of the floor. Okay. So the wires come out of the floor at that spot. Come up right there. Yeah, and then they build the trim to fit the holes yes. in the floor. Okay. <clears throat> we got rid of the side ones. When we first built these, we had a box along that both right. sides. That is right, I remember. So we got rid of that one, got rid of that one, and we put the plug on the side of the cabinet. Mm -hmm. So that plug comes right up out of the floor. Yep. And we put it in the side of the cabinet. So now you still have a plug there. You still have two plugs here. And then the other one that was right here, I said, my goodness, why don't we just put it in the side at the bottom? Okay. And so, and so you, you got one there. So you still have. And you have one there. Man, there's four plugs along the bottom in the living room. And then this up here is for and a you TV. have one there. Yep. You can put a shelf here, put something else. So now on. whenever you flip on the light, does it still turn so, on a lamp here? Yes. Okay. So you turn on the light. One's an outside light and one's an inside lamp. Because right you here. do not have, just so you know, there's not a ceiling <coughs> fan. And there's not a light fixture over top. Nope. And the reason we don't put a ceiling fan is I didn't want anything going across this ceiling. Yep. I didn't want to box it in. It just takes time. I agree. It looks gaudy. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I did do is you guys know, if you've been watching long enough, you see this plug right here, Amanda? Yeah. Now, I've come in here the other day and I said, guys, these plugs are too low. Okay. I'm going to move this plug up to here. Okay. All right. Because if we put an air conditioner right here, that cord's got to come right down here. And you can, you know, kind of put it in that corner and do it. But I thought, let's put it up high. Put it up right higher. Here. So that way we can just go ahead Absolutely. and plug it in. Okay, great idea. And this also, is the access panel right here for the shower? Yep. That's okay. an access panel here. And then remember, we moved Oh, the you did two of them. No, we changed this also. Great. So we put two switches. Instead of doing this, we went back to the single and now there's an over and under switch. Oh, okay, okay. Just there's two like All that right. instead of like that. Okay, All good. Right? Good, good. <clears throat> so Lots there you have it. So it's very on the fly. Things are just changing this all the, the time. This is the new and improved Incredibox. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Something's got me. I know. I love the trim. There's so many little intricacy things that we're doing that I'm loving. It's just What man. kind of door is that? That's a... That insulated right, door? That's, oh yeah, they're always insulated. Okay. Yeah, that's actually fiberglass door. Fiberglass insulated door. What size is that? 36? 36 inch okay. door. Okay. I'm glad you said that. So with a 36 inch door, we've also made the door to the bathroom bigger. Okay. All right. So the problem with, the only, I say a problem. The thing is, it's now 34 inches wide. Wow. My mom could have lived in here. Very comfortable. You know she could, couldn't she? Oh, totally, Randy. <clears throat> Hospital bed there. Totally. She could have had her, her lazy boy chair there. Yeah. Watching mm -hmm. TV. Sure. Could have had her walker mm -hmm. straight into here. Straight in. Grab bars we got. Grab bar in the shower. Mm -hmm. Sink. And 
Remember that one I did? You can kick next. Yeah, I know. Stop. You You're can grab everything stop. all the way down. <laughs> and you can just support yourself. That all the is way true. To the bed. I mean, listen, you got to try to figure out stuff for yourself. Yeah, I'm already trying. <laughs> You've already got a plan. I've got me a plan. All right, well, good. The only thing all I right. need to do is get my back hair lasered, and I'll be good. Nobody has to care for me. Yeah, just, okay. I can just lay out and let the dog lick my well, back. Well, there clean you go. Me up. Okay, yes. good, good. I love the trim. We got a 90 degree across here. We talked about the loft. This is just technical stuff. I don't know if you guys want to hear it or not, but I love coming in here, looking at it, and we tweak it. We have a meeting every single day after work. We talk to the supervisors. I come up here and I said, hey guys, I'm seeing some concerns, and we go through it, all right? So. Now, one of the things I want people to do, the people that have gotten their Incrediboxes already, I want to know what you do with the bathroom opening. I want to know if you put a, a curtain up, did you put yeah. up a door? Did you put up some kind of what? What did you do to to cover yes. the the bathroom? I, yes. I just want to see everybody's ideas there. Right. Yes. That, yeah. And, okay. and, they're, and hopefully they'll be coming in. And their closet. How did they? You know, did they put up a curtain or what did they do That's there? So. Now you know if you put a fridge in here. This is 22 inches deep, right? Yeah. So your fridge may come out a little bit. So and then if you've got an if you've got your solar, 22, you're not you don't have a big enough door to close the whole thing mm -hmm. in, right? So almost you're going to have to have a curtain here. Well, this, and how you cover that up there too, you know? This here. Yeah, how is everybody going to... I can't wait to see what everybody does. You can build a door up there. You can They're going to get in. creative. And also, I want to let you guys know, this right here is where your heating element is. So let's say this thing quits heat. Mm -hmm. And you got to drain it. Well, you can actually open this valve up right here. As you can see, it is piped going out and down through the floor. And it'll drain out outside. Okay. All right? Also, this is called a pop-off valve. So ever something ever went wrong with that valve, it is tied in here to the, the T, it goes outside. So there's no water gonna come on the inside of the house when this thing doesn't work anymore. Okay. Let's say you gotta change this heating element. It's just like the stove by in there, right? It heats up the water. Okay. We've got it facing out, so all you have to do is take this cover loose, drain the water, take a special socket fitting, mm -hmm. unscrew that, put one in, and you're good to go again. Okay. Done. If you need to replace this unit, there's nothing to replace it. Unscrew this. Un you, could, you can cut this and put a t uh, coupling back in. Up top, undo your electric. And the electric right here is just a plug-in. There's actually a receptacle behind here. You just unplug it, and we've got uh, unscrew the top of your water lines. So within 15, 20 minutes, you've got that out of here. And here. for anyone who does not know how to do it like me, hire someone or get a friend or get someone, a licensed electrician, don't take a chance with electricity if you don't know anything about it. If if you had to hire a new water heater and a, hire somebody to do it, mm -hmm. probably 500 bucks. Probably. I would say. And but, the guy wouldn't have more than 45 minutes in the but you, So that that should give you the uh, the incentive to say, you know what, I want to learn how to yeah. do it. And so This is simple. Okay. Anybody can do it. I mean, even ladies can do these things. Mm -hmm. Everybody. And, and I, I will, as soon as we get this down, there's so many things we want to do on videos. That we I want hope to I show. can show you some help, self-help videos of replacing this, yeah. a water faucet, maybe even replacing a shower valve. Sure. You have to do that. That'd be a helpful. They would like that. Somebody said, hey, we're not electricians. We don't know how to... We don't know how to replace this light fixture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how. It's okay. super simple, not as complicated. Uh, the other thing, too, is I saw a an outlet inside the closet. That's for your refrigerator. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Right here. So you got one yep. there. Yep. All right. Because this is made for a refrigerator, and it is actually 25 and a quarter inches wide. Okay, yeah, so that could be a fridge or a closet. 34-inch door, mm -hmm. 25 inches here. The height of it, I think, is, is it 63? Boom. Look at that. All right, yep. There we go. All right. Wow, I feel like I've been rattling off a bunch of info, but yeah. So everybody, please subscribe to our channel if you will. Tell everybody about our sale we've got going on till Halloween, October 31st. $25,000 for an off-grid Incredibox. It's an amazing <laughs> price. We're wanting to sell hundreds of these things by the end of the year. Every 100 block, we're going to pick out a winner, and you have a chance of winning a free Incredibox. And also remember our mm -hmm. $30,000 Incredibox that has water power, sewer, water catchment, self-contained, and I'm actually looking into today, if I can get back in the office, about our recycling water system that takes gray water and puts it right back into your drinking water tank. Okay. Yep. All right. That Anything sounds good. Well, the only thing is I was going to say, we got to find out from Lucas, not right now, but we'll find out from Lucas where we're at in the, the second, a second set of 100. 
because we will be drawing yes. out to get um, drawn out a name for um, a extra incredible box That's that good. they've won yes. before even the giveaway. That's because yeah. it's because I bet we're at like 180 houses, something like that. Sold. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we're close. So the, that drawing will probably be before the giveaway drawing. Wow. That's crazy. We got a lot going on, guys. Yeah. As you can see, we love our Incredible Box. We're trying to get you excited about it. Yes. We're trying to give these things away because I think it, hopefully it'll motivate you to buy one, tell somebody about mm -hmm. them. And of course, if you want to sell our Incredible Box, yep. <clears throat> go online to ITH Employment, fill out the application, get your four digit number fill out the contract and all that you all can sell these mm -hmm. and one last note to Travis Travis I hope this deal goes through Travis is our longtime watcher and he's been watching us so long he is now our he is on our sales force mm -hmm. and he is selling homes or attempting to and I'm hoping with the deal that he's got going on is going to be amazing I I can see a lot of free and credit boxes coming his way. That's exactly that right. Something? That's great. Yeah, he's not he's not hitting for a, a you know a base hit. He's going for a grand slam. Grand slam, yeah. baby. So all right Travis, okay. I'll get that drawing out to you. Him and I are working on a few things. So all right, I'm excited. A lot of things to be pumped out about. What company can include the entire nation to be a part of the company that we're doing? Exactly. You can help sell them, you can help develop land, you can help so, communities, cities, yeah. all that stuff. What's wrong with me today? What's wrong, what's wrong with me today? Got a lot going on. I know. I'll give Billy back his tape. I know. All right. See you guys. Bye.